Hi, and welcome to Two Hopper Baseball Academy. My name is Coach Walsh. Today I'm going to walk through what's called a creep step or a prep step, and that can be done in the infield or the outfield. A little bit of variations on both, but I'll walk you through a little bit of everything. Uh, coaches always ask me how to get players prepared for each pitch of every inning, every game. Um, in the infield, like I said, it's either called a prep step or a creep step, and it really is very simple. It's anything to get your body moving. Okay, so that could be just a one-two step. A lot of guys like to do a hop before they, they get into position. Whatever you have to do, it has to be that constant motion, getting ready for that play. Okay? So whether you're in, let's say you're a middle infielder, I like my guys to stand up a little bit taller when they're prepping for that ground ball. They have a lot more range to cover than a first base or a third baseman, so I want them to be up a little bit taller. So basically, as that pitcher breaks from his pitch, that infielder has to get down and ready. <clears throat> now, not into a stance where his feet are firmly to the ground, but some things where he's loose and prepped in, ready to go, and he can come in, out, left, right, wherever he needs to go, okay? Now, if you're a third baseman, generally those guys will get a little bit deeper because they don't have to cover the range that possibly a, a middle might have to do. Um, and the same thing with a first baseman on the other side. However you want to do it, if you want to get into that hop step, or if you just want to one, two, and get out there with it, that's fine too, okay? <clears throat> but make sure you're doing it every pitch, every single at bat, and have the whole team do it. You know, I can usually walk up to a, a game and see if an entire team is having some sort of prep step or creep step. And if that whole team is following that design, I know they're set and ready to play in their coach really well, okay? <clears throat> Outfield, the case is also a little bit different. But they're also doing some sort of prep too at every single pitch. Okay? It's very easy to get distracted and complacent out in the outfield uh, because that's not where every single ball is going. There may be many innings where there's not a ball hit to the outfield. So they have to stay prepared on uh, their backup assignments where that throw is going, personnel, all that kind of good stuff. So in the outfield, a little bit different. It's not that deeper one two step where they're getting low. Okay? There's a little higher. They're still getting into a natural creep in, but their eye set's a little higher. If, it, if an outfielder stays low and they're in like this, and then they have to come up for a fly ball, that changes their eye their eye level quite a bit, then they have to go get it. All right. If they're standing up a little bit taller, now they can go in, out, and have to get to that ball, get to the cut, wherever you need to go. Okay? So that's all basically I wanted to cover with that prep step. Please make sure that you're infielders and your outfielders for that matter are getting ready to go on every single pitch every single play all right talk to you soon